Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Sharana and I'm here with something a little different for you guys today. I am starting something, I had the idea to do this a little while ago, didn't really know how I wanted to kind of brand it and make it my own. And then I realized I could just put together two of the things that I love so much, which are science and knowing how things work and random trivia. So I'm bringing you guys science stuff with Sharana. What this is going to be is every Friday I'll be coming to you guys with kind of the science behind different topics, different uh, ideas, stuff that's going on, whatever. Um, it's going to be one topic every Friday and it's not always going to be nail stuff. Today is nail stuff just because that's what I had on my mind. I read this really interesting article about if your nails are peeling, why that may be and what you can do about it. Um, and I figured I would share what I learned from that article here with you guys and kind of show you the behind the scenes and the science of your nails in this episode anyways. Like I said, it's not always gonna be about nail stuff. Do you deal with peeling nails? Because I definitely do. I love doing my nails. I've loved doing my nails forever. That's why I partnered with a company that has a bunch of really good quality nail products so I can get a discount on my nail stuff. <laughs> So if you didn't know, your nails are made of different layers of keratin. So just a bunch of layers stacked up. Um, and that keratin is the same thing that's making up your hair, which you probably already knew. Those different layers, when stuff gets in between them, um, they start to separate and that's what causes your nails to peel. Is water or different um, like solvents if you're using nail polish remover kind of getting in between those layers and pushing them apart instead of helping to hold them together and that's what's going to cause your nails to peel so i have my little notes here so i didn't forget what i was uh where i was going with this um when your nails start to peel it's going to leave them feeling really thin and a little bit too flexible so you'll have like a little bit of bend to your nail which you want some bend, you want it to be slightly flexible, but you don't want it to be so flexible that if you hit your hand or you bump your nail on something, it just breaks completely. Uh, you want it to bend so that way your nails don't break as easily, but if it bends too much, it can be really painful, and then it still might end up breaking, so it's just not great. <laughs> um, the one thing that I know leads to my nails peeling all the time, part of it can be diet. Um, most of it though, if you wear a lot of things on your nails, whether it's nail polish, gel polish like this one, nail wraps, um, the number one thing that can lead to that peeling is improper removal of whatever those products were. So if you just kind of pick off your nail polish, don't. <laughs> um, if you're picking up gel polish especially, because gel ad adheres to your nails really well, um, that's just gonna lead to more damage down the road. What's crazy is that you can actually damage your nails right now if you pick it off, but you might not see that damage for months because you know your nails don't grow that fast. So if you damage it right now, kind of at the base of your nail, um, it's gonna be a little while before you actually see that peeling when it gets to the tip of your nail. So you really wanna make sure you're paying attention to how you're removing whatever those products are, whether it's nail polish, gel polish, whatever it is. Um, what else do I have? Okay, so you're going to make sure you're not pecking off any of the gel polish, any of your nail polish, your nail wraps, whatever, um, because picking it off is, those products are made to literally adhere to your nail, um, and if you pick it off, it's not, you haven't taken the time to separate that adhesion from the top layer of your nail. Like I said, your nails are made of layers, so if you're just picking it off, you're actually picking off the polish or the gel or whatever, and the top layer of your nail that was right underneath it. And like I said, you might not see the damage right away, but as your nails start to grow out, that's when you'll realize that they're a little bit too thin, they're a little bit thinner than normal, um, and you'll end up with peeling down the road, which then you may, because this is me, you may end up having feeling the need to like pick apart the peels because it's in the way of you painting your nails or it doesn't leave you that smooth finish that you might be looking for um which is not good because that's it's your nail like you're you don't have that many layers as it is because now they're peeling apart and falling off so then you picking them off is just going to make it that much worse so you want to make sure you're not peeling them off once they do start to peel um at some point you can't really help it it just kind of happens day-to-day -day life if you're using your hands a lot those little pieces might start to pick off a little bit um so like i said you might not be able to help it but you want to try your hardest not to actually peel those layers apart um one thing you can do so this is how you're going to 
fix it. Maybe I shouldn't be doing my nails while I do this because now I'm getting distracted. Okay, I'm just gonna do these two nails. This is a really pretty color, complete side tangent. This is me. I will try to get better about not tangenting in the middle, but this is what I do. Um, so this is the color, I just did that gray color. I'm only gonna do two fingers because otherwise I'll just be looking down the whole time. Now you know why your nails peel. Uh, oh, another reason your nails could be peeling is if you're over washing your hands. Did you know you could do that? If you work in an industry or you're just at home doing a lot of stuff around the house um, where you wash your hands all the time, that's a really, really big culprit of peeling nails is over washing your hands. <clears throat> A lot of times when you're washing your hands you have a bunch of different cleansers so whether it's like Dawn like dish soap if you're washing dishes or just regular hand soap not only do you have the water that's going to try to get between the layers of your nails you also have the solvent you have the soap that's also going to try to get in between the layers of those nail of your nails and those different solvents can actually get between the layers of your nails and push them apart to cause them to peel they can also dry out your nails so when your nails are more dry they're um, they peel easier when they're more dry so you want to keep your nails oiled up that's another thing you can do um, try not to over wash your hands you need to wash your hands <laughs> it's flu season it's the winter we're trying not to get sick wash your hands but try not to wash them too too much um, if you do have to wash your hands more often go back and use a nail oil that's gonna help to kind of hold those layers of your nails together now there's a big difference between nail oil and cuticle oil Cuticle oil is just going to sit kind of on the surface of your nail or in the surface of your skin and help to kind of hydrate that a little bit, add a little bit of uh, hydration to the top layer, but it's not really going to soak into your nails that much. And nail oil, like a good nail oil, is going to have ingredients that can actually soak into the layers between your nails and help to hold them together. The same way the water is going to get between those layers and push them apart, you want to put an oil on that's going to help get between those layers and hold them together. So the number one type of oil that's gonna help with that is something with jojoba oil in it. Jojoba oil is actually the closest oil that you can buy. It's the closest to what your body naturally makes. So whether, whether it's your hair or your skin or your nails, jojoba oil is gonna be your best friend. So you can either use like pure jojoba oil or you can find a brand that has a nail oil that has jojoba mixed in as one of the main ingredients. That's how you know when you swipe that oil onto your nail, you can kind of massage it in a little bit over time you'll actually see it start to soak in if it's just a cuticle oil or it's an oil that doesn't really have jojoba oil in it it'll just sit on the surface and it won't actually soak in I've been using a nail oil from this brand called bliss kiss um, her article she has a blog also and the article that I got all this information from is by her um, she's not like selling her stuff in it she's literally just telling you here's the science behind why your nails are peeling <laughs> um, so I'm going to put the link to that down below so that way like in the comments that way you can see exactly where I got this information from she's got a whole bunch more like really good information um, and her nail oil is the best I mean I I deal with peeling nails myself I don't pick off nail polish or anything anymore um, but I think because I use so much on my nails and I wash my hands a lot and I'm always wearing gloves at work and dealing with different solvents and everything that it just it's gonna happen so I try to minimize it as much as I can, but I also try to fix it when I know that it's happening. So the way that I've been fixing it is by using her nail oil and just kind of slathering it on all the time. <laughs> you can use it over top of nail polish. You can use it over gel also. Um, certain um, like add-ons like nail wraps and things like that that are more of like a sticker type of base, the oil might get underneath and start to lift them up. So you can still use it with those, just know you may not get as long of a wear time, but your nails are going to be healthier, so it's up to you how you want to kind of balance that out. Do you want your nails to last longer if you're using something like a wrap? Or do you want your nails underneath to actually be healthy and strong? So that's on you. <laughs> um, something else that's really important to know is that when you have something free polish, that's not gonna make a difference whether your nails will peel or not. I see this all the time and it really bothers me um, when people say, oh, this is five free, this is 10 free, this is free of whatever. For certain products, that can be a good thing because you want to make sure that you don't have any harmful ingredients within whether it's your skincare, your makeup, whatever it is. So I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do that. I'm just saying that when it comes to nail polish and they're saying this is five free, this is 10 free, this is 172 free, look at what they're saying it's free of. Are they saying it's free of something that's actually 
harmful or are they just saying it's free of what other people use so now they're better than them but most of that is just marketing honestly you really don't I don't want to say you don't need to be careful when it comes to nail polish and nail um, enhancements but your nails are dead <laughs> it's not like you're putting this on your skin it's not like you're eating it it's not like you're breathing it in I mean you might breathe in a little bit so you don't want it to be like formaldehyde or anything crazy but I feel like there's a lot of fear-mongering and a lot of trying to scare people when it comes to saying oh well our products don't have this but their products do so you have to buy ours when the thing they're talking about probably isn't even dangerous or it, it's dangerous if you eat it but if you don't eat it you're fine there's a lot of science and toxicology behind all of that that I wasn't going to get into today that's probably gonna be a whole different video um, if you didn't know I have a bachelor's degree in chemistry I have a bachelor's in forensic science and I have a master's in forensic toxicology so I, I know a little bit about this, so that's kind of another reason why I wanted to do this science stuff with Sharana is to bring the science background that I have to some of these really interesting topics that you might not know the science behind. And one of those things is nails, at least for today. It's not always going to be nails, but anyways, whenever you see like five free, seven free, ten free on a nail polish or nail whatever, just know that that's marketing. and the more free it is of something doesn't necessarily mean it's going to keep your nails from peeling that just means that they haven't included certain ingredients that other brands may have included for whatever reason something else i've noticed is that some of those free brands are not adding ingredients that actually help the nail polish adhere to your nails so they might not even last as long because it's free of whatever that ingredient was so just keep an eye out for that and know that just because it's free of something doesn't mean it's necessarily better for you okay um Something else that you should be looking at is getting a good quality nail polish or nail whatever it is. If you do buy the cheap stuff, they probably do have some fillers in there that aren't great for you, but you want to go on the higher end. Not saying you have to like go to a salon and get like the most expensive nail polish ever. <laughs> um, just know that if you buy a dollar store nail polish versus something like an Essie or an OPI, where they kind of look at the ingredients a little bit better, it's going to be better for your nails some of those fillers that are in some of the cheaper ingredients may actually be doing damage to your nails but then some of them might not so it's really just like a I don't want to say it's a catch-22 but it's it's important to know what you're looking at <laughs> and it's important to kind of learn what some of these ingredients are which ones are good for you which ones are not um, if that sounds interesting to you let me know and I can do a whole video talking about different ingredients um, I love that stuff. I love watching videos, YouTube videos that are educational and actually teach you like, here's the ingredients that you should be looking out for. Here's the ones that people are scaring you with and they're actually fine. So that could be something else that I come at you with to add a little bit of value to your life. Um, like I said, using a jojoba, a jojoba based nail oil is going to be best to help hold those layers of your nails together. Um, and the last thing I wanted to let you guys know as a tip, if you deal with peeling nails is your nails are not tools. Don't use your nails, or try at least, I know it's going to be hard, but try not to use your nails as tools. If you have a can of soda and you have that little pop top, don't put your nail under there to open it. Grab like the back of a spoon or something else to open it. Um, I catch myself doing stuff all the time. There's like a sticker and I'm trying to peel the sticker off and I use my nail to scrape it. And then I wonder why my nails are broken, broken or peeling off. Well, you're using your nails as tools and you're adding that damage a little bit at a time on a microscopic level. And then... As you keep doing that, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse. And then by the end of it, you know, give it a couple of months. Now, all of a sudden you see your nails peeling and you're like, wait, I didn't do anything. You didn't do it right now, but a couple months ago <laughs> you did something that damaged your nail and it's finally growing itself out. And now you can see the damage. So try not to use your nails as tools. Um, try to keep your hands from being exposed to too many different elements. Um, use sunscreen on your hands too. You definitely should be using sunscreen on your face, but use it on your hands and kind of massage it into your nails as well. UV damage is nothing to play with. It can damage your nails the same way it can damage your face and the rest of your skin. So using a sunscreen is really important. Um, if you're washing dishes or cleaning, using a lot of different cleaning supplies, put on some gloves. You know, you want to protect your nails. If you're doing a lot of different things and not protecting your nails, and then you end up with nail damage later, you kind of did it to yourself, but maybe you didn't know, which is why I'm here to teach you so you know going forward. So I 
Hope that was interesting to you. I've done two of my nails already. This is just two coats of that one step gel polish. It didn't take any time at all. And um, I'm kind of in love with it. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my nails now so I can not multitask and sit here and forget what I'm talking about as I'm painting my nails. But I hope this was interesting to you. Like I said, every single Friday, I'm gonna be coming at you guys with another video teaching you the science behind whatever topic it is and maybe some things on how to fix it if it's an issue or just here's the science behind this thing. You might not have known this trivia, did you know type of video because it makes me really happy and it's a way that I get to kind of connect my science background, science, ed science education with the fun random trivia that I love learning about. So I hope this was interesting to you. Let me know if you deal with peeling nails. Do you deal with breaking nails or some nails that are too flexible, too strong that they're breaking? What do you deal with when it comes to your nails? What issues? Uh, do you do anything to your nails? Do you paint them at home, go to a salon, get manicure, pedicure, whatever? I want to know. I want to know whatever issues you're dealing with and hopefully this video will help you to kind of fix those issues and not deal with them going forward. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.